Center for Small Town Jewish Life is an initiative that seeks to improve Jewish life in small towns and small colleges across America through effective and creative collaboration among institutional partners, namely bringing synagogues and colleges together to improve the cultural and Jewish life in small towns across America. I think it matters greatly. You know, we can't lose Jews, right? We, as Jews, we've always been a people that have wandered, right? And that have been dispersed among a large area. And I think it's crucially important for a Jew anywhere they may be to feel connected to the larger Jewish community. So one of the things that we've done that has been truly successful is our fall Shabbaton. It's really a way of bringing the best Jewish musicians to Maine to enrich the Jewish life of Hillel's across the state. It started out as a Colby Bowden Beit Shabbaton, but it's really developed into something much larger. So when we bring these incredible acts to Maine, we not only enrich Jewish life, but Really, we achieve the promise of the center by bringing together Jews across the state to pray and to learn together from the best and from one another. One of the initiatives I'm most proud of that we started this year is a program called Community Conversations. We firmly believe that we generate leaders uh, that will make a tremendous impact on the world. Community Conversations brings together Jewish and secular thought leaders to talk about the most pressing issues of the day. It's pretty extraordinary that a community would come together to have three different sessions talking about money and wealth. Experts speaking about these issues from ethical perspectives, from faith-based perspectives, from civic perspectives. Having those rich discussions across ideological, religious, and generational lines. There's been an also an increase in the amount that large nonprofit institutions receive, for example, in higher education. And then to bring um, the Colby and Waterville communities together to discuss the learning that they've experienced uh, in the previous hour of the program. To be really proud of one civilization and learn how to translate the jewels of Jewish civilization and of our intellectual and our ethical culture into a language that is accessible to Jews of all backgrounds, but also to non-Jews as well. How do we make Jewish life relevant? How do we offer the jewels of our civilization to our wider community? There's such a movement within the Jewish community, often towards smaller communities, and I, I think for the preservation of Jewish life in America for the future, it's, it's so important to, for us to pay attention to what's happening in these smaller communities maintaining Jewish life, raising children there, hoping that they're going to continue their Jewish affiliation on into their adult life. It's only going to happen if we pay attention to these communities and the movement of so many Jews. The Mid-Maine Jewish Fontensive is a program that runs every summer in central Maine, and we provide week-long, intensive Hebrew and Jewish learning experiences with a special emphasis on Hebrew, values and community building. And we draw in kids from Waterville, Augusta, and as far away as Lewiston and Portland. I like to say that it's kind of a regular summer camp-like experience, but with Hebrew. So we do art, but we learn all the words for the colors. We do games, but all of our games are in Hebrew. We do songs, but all of our songs are in Hebrew. And we say art. Oh my news. To finish up our oh my 
the kids love it. They're learning a whole bunch of stuff that they don't even know they're learning. A lot of the Jewish camps located in Maine are not actually intended for Maine kids. But the Mid-Maine Jewish Intensive is very specifically built for Maine kids. It's built with their Hebrew school curriculum in mind. The values, the culture, the songs are just seeping into their lives and that's something that's really important for them to be able to take with them throughout their lives. It brings Jewish kids from throughout the state together, again, reducing that sense of isolation. <laughs> Fontensive is yet another way that the Center for Small Town Jewish Life and the Jewish community more broadly can enrich the life of the greater community. The main conference for Jewish life, in many ways, is the cornerstone of our statewide programming. For one weekend a year, usually in June, every synagogue in Maine comes to Waterville to experience the best of Jewish life. And it is as if you are reading two different Torahs. We have sessions on Torah, on Talmud, on contemporary secular Jewish identity. If you look at, if you look at... So some of the sessions that we've had are how to integrate art into synagogue life, how to run a synagogue garden. There are so many riches in the state of Maine that often we don't share with one another because we're so separated. I'd love you to think about making big marks. Last year we had over 30 children at the Maine Conference for Jewish Life. All these Jewish kids got the experience of being part of a critical mass of Jewish kids. We're going to try and make rainbow challah as a way of celebrating the fact that everybody's different, but everybody's really awesome, right? What congregation? How long have you been a member? In three years, we've built from a small conference of about 75 participants to last year having over 215. This is a community and an experience that's growing. Colby Hillel and the Center for Small Town Jewish Life more generally is a training ground for Jewish students on learning techniques for building community. Yeah. Yeah. For cherishing the jewels of Jewish life and learning how to share those techniques and there's those jewels with other people, both within the Jewish community and outside the Jewish community. But it's also an opportunity to experience the best of Jewish learning in the world, right in the heart of Maine.